Kina, KTN News. Right now, the decision by Machako Senator Johnston Madama to quit the Wiper Party has been widely termed as a major blow to NASA presidential running mate Kalonzo Musioka. But just how influential is Mudama beyond Machakos? Tonight on Spotlight 2017, Murimi Mwangi examines the possible impact of the Kalonzo Mudama standoff on NASA campaigns in Ukambani. Faced with the enormous task of fitting in the shoes of Machakos Senator Johnston Mudama is this man, Jackson Musioka Kala. We are ready. For the rest, I'm not going to promise a bruising battle, but what I'm going to promise the people of Machakos is uh, servant leadership. Kala landed the senatorial ticket after Muthama declined to pick the certificate protesting the declaration of Wavinyandeti as the Machakos gubernatorial candidate for WIPA. The senator accusing Kalonzo of imposing Wavinya on the electorate. This barely a month after Kitui Senator David Musila quit Waipa protesting his defeat by Governor Julius Malombe in the race for the gubernatorial ticket. Sasa na letu, na watu kama mudhama wanatengeme wa heti abebe kikaratazi kinaandikwa Waipa, arabu mudhama seme, candidate in yuyu sasa, hakuna lingene ni sasaidia chama. Apana... Mudhama is quite a forceful person and when he's on your side it counts, but... Uh, the more he sends mixed signals in Okambani, is going to be kind of irrelevant, and I would not like Mudama to be irrelevant in Okambani politics. Wherever Senator Mudama is, he should know we still love him as a party. Musila has already tactically withdrawn from Kalonzo's kitchen cabinet. Well, Mudama is said to be unwilling to work with the Ukambani NASA campaign team. That includes, among others, Makweni Governor Kivuda Kibwana. <laughs> like in Wavinya's case, Mudama claims that Kibwana was a newcomer to WIPA, imposed on the electorate by Kalonzo. All of us must be disciplined and all of us must respect uh, the party uh, leadership. And it is not good to blackmail people to bully people and all that. This is why I chose again the name Stephen. Kwa ndugu zetu wa Islamu, hamujui maana ya Stephen. Stephen alipigwa na mawe, na kabla ya kukufa, kazema, forgive them. Lakini nasema, hapa kuna matatizo ndugu zanguni. Nambiu la mgambo, likilia kuna jambo. To unseat President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto, NASA will have to deny Jubilee round one win by blocking the duo from attaining the mandatory 50 plus 1 percent of all the votes. But with Jubilee also spoiling for some more votes in presumed opposition strongholds, some analysts caution that WIPA could shoot itself in the foot over the ongoing supremacy battles. The journey for Stephen Kalonzo Musioka to become president does not begin in 2022, it begins now. We need everybody on board. Some observers argue that Kalonzo's change of brand of politics could have been occasioned by the recent defections of key WIPA legislators to Jubilee, including Kalonzo's area MP John Munuve. The defections coming months after bitter exchanges between Kalonzo and WIPA elected Machakos governor Alfred Mutua who recently endorsed President Uhuru Kenyatta's re-election. My mistake is I've been too trusting. I've assumed other people have easy way of working, particularly because my training is my word, is my bond. An attempt by a group of Ukambani opinion leaders accompanied by Nairobi Deputy Governor Jonathan Mueke to reconcile